Hi, welcome. The topic of this video is this beautiful terminal called, well, Deeping Terminal, of course. We are still on Linux B Deeping. And the terminal name is Deeping Terminal. What's interesting to know, and I'll repeat it in several videos, is that you know the application names in the terminal. <clears throat> to know the applications, you type deep in and you press twice on tap and you'll see all the applications that came in with the installation that concern the desktop deepin. But there's another one you need to know as well. So your deepin terminal is here and we're going to go into, well, most of them in the tutorials. Another thing you need to know is DDE something. <clears throat> so if you press on the tab, it's going to automatically try to find out what do you mean. So it's the control center there, the dock is there, and also something that we're gonna talk about for sure, that's the file manager. So there is Nemo, there is uh, Nautilus, there is Tunar. So there are lots of um, file manager available, and this one is the one from uh, DDE or Deeping. So what can we say about this Deeping terminal? So this line here. Well, there's a lot of things to say about Deeping really. One of them is you see up here that there are supposedly to be tabs because we can close this one, but can also add a new one and try to figure out things in here, this one and keep this one and switch between tabs. So that's also a neat trick. Then there is more. So if you double click on this thing, the title bar is just going to maximize it and go back to small. If you click on this, you can have a new window if you want to. You can now also a switch theme. So maybe you've noticed, but we did not theme it um, the way we theme it in Termite. So if we press Super Shift T, it's going to launch also the the DD launcher really, and Termite is there as well. So Termite is this kind of look, and we said no, let's keep the look from. The deeping terminal it's uh, nice and it's also very um, themable as you will see now switch theme there is a lot of themes we've chosen one that more or less uh, reflects the colors of Arch Linux right but let's go over all the colors so this could be your look this could be your look and let me just scroll them through here I hope I don't skip anything, but you can change also a nice one, right? It all depends what wallpaper you're on, what uh, colors you like, but there is a lot, just a lot of colors. So you decide your own color scheme and it's so easy by just clicking on this sidebar. Still going, that's the top again. So this is the normal look and I didn't really like the colors of the normal look. So I went to look and finally settled for the breeze, this one, the breeze colors. So if you click back in here, the, the, the switch theme thingy here, the panel just slides back in. So that's really neat. You see all these shadows here and all the effects. That's because deeping has a lot of desktop effects. Now there are also custom commands <coughs> and the custom commands are just made if I just tried something out here, Control Alt H. And what's in here, I just uh, set update and then if you're done update, then you do a scale and if you don't do scale, you do this one. And I've hooked it up with Control Alt H or the shortcut AIO all in one, right? So if I type now, AIO is going to update everything, copy paste the scale over and see that there are updates. So just a quick experiment. So yes, you can make custom commands in here, but there is another way to do it. Remote management, I've read about it, but I'm not really gonna use it probably, but you can uh, make sure that you can remote log into a server. Then we are at the settings and the settings has a lot of potential. Well, let's first get this guy over here 
and then the settings just next to it you see that you have the opacity so you can change the opacity of your deeping terminal which is also cool so we took a setting for you guys but you can change it afterwards we did not change it to not all sans mono which we normally would have so we kept of we chose i'm not sure if we kept or we chose droid sans mono Sun size, uh, font size I mean, is this or that. You can go smaller and smaller any way you see fit. And then the normal keyboard shortcuts, we left everything as is. So Ctrl Shift C, Ctrl Shift V are all normal things. <coughs> Ctrl minus um, zoom in, zoom out is interesting maybe. And there's also a possibility for vertical split and horizontal split, but you can do this also in here in the the terminal itself but there's a shortcut that's nice the full screen I'm gonna remember that one so F11 a standard keyboard shortcut to have a full screen so we can do that as well here I've chosen for a cursor blink thingy but you can cursor out to hide copy on select and there is something called quake so Let's investigate the quake, but let's first blur. A better wallpaper maybe will show you that a blur is. Uh, let's yeah, you can see it here in the mountains, really. So this is the blur is on like this. Maybe you like that as well as setting. Now this quake thing. What's interesting for you guys to know? Um, spend some time in here. Where in the help? Spend some time in the help and be amazed. This is a complete manual of your deeping terminal. It's a terminal emulator with simple interface, blah, blah, blah. You scan through the text. Let's try the quake mode, all right? So there is a quake mode. Alt F2 is what pops down like quake does. And you can say, okay, I wanna have more because we already have a lot of space with this NeoFetch. You can get rid of NeoFetch, of course. And Alt F2 is up it's gone again so that might be something is oh yeah i want to have that i want to try deeping okay so basically this is well the quake look from uh, for dde or deeping terminal better and alt f2 is going to show it and going to close it okay so but there's so much more you can send to talk for instance that's something we maybe should do so when you open any application, right mouse click, you can add it to the dock. So it will ever, never, ever leave it. Let's do an example with termites. You can go from here, right mouse click, send to desktop, send to dock. Okay, it's now on the dock here, termite. And then I say, of course, undock it again, and it's gone again. So that's easy to get something in here. This is not plank. This is the dock from Deeping. Okay, so my message to you scan through it that's how i discovered the quake there's also an interesting one Control shift and then this question mark so when on the terminal Control shift question mark you have to keep to you have to keep uh, pressing the Control shift you can let go the question mark but you have to keep it in so you can read again switch full screen f11 all right uh -huh. Control shift t new workspace close workspace Control shift w mm -hmm. and you have seen it all again so <clears throat> also a nice trick um where is my help i've closed it here it is <coughs> close it so searching googling copy pasting quake mode hold f2 open file it's also something you right mouse click and you can open actually select something here a desktop folder right mouse click open it so open a folder in your terminal okay switch encoding if you need to do that you can switch your um, tabs so if you have different uh, windows open this windows or tabs Control alt number key to open new windows in different colors okay windows you can rename the window it's gonna be a tab i suppose f11 here he is full screen so in a quick way you just scan through all these possibilities 
Here's the, the workspace, control tab to switch and sequence, alt one, etc. workspace. Most of the time I'll just use one, but hey, it's possible. And here's the explanation about the server. If you want that, if you say, oh, that's interesting, maybe interesting for you, because you can also upload and download files to that server at the end. You see, upload file, download file. So those things I cannot show you. And here's the switch theme and all the rest. This is all covered, the basic settings, the shortcut settings and all that. Which gives us actually a quite beautiful and full um, terminal in Teeping. It's one to be proud of, really, honestly. So um, take a look at it, see what else maybe there is, because there, I've not tested out everything. You see right mouse click does horizontal split and this guy I'm gonna do this a vertical split so I can do I don't know let's try something out I can do here a C matrix minus X and I can do here uh, nope it's not doing anything pipes let's see if this works pipes is working here and I don't know and here a go top or something is that possible that's possible so I don't know what's happening to C matrix. Ah, oh, minus X. All right, my mistake. B for bold. So yeah, it's worth um, to take a look at this deeping terminal. You can drag these lines and see some more information like so. It's all um, quite amazing what I made, made in here. Close windows, vertical, open in file manager, here it is. Full screen, find, rename, title, encode, and custom commands and back to the settings. So guys, uh, do explore uh, this deeping uh, terminal. It looks really awesome and I hope you like it. All right, cheers.